Hello everyone and welcome to Clarity.io. You're going to see the power of this tool in action, so let's see how it works. We click start for free and then we can click either Facebook or Google or register with your email and name. So let's go ahead and use Google. takes just a second here and then boom we're at our boards here a few things to notice it'll say your name whatever you logged in with you can change the color here you can see your different account details you can even give yourself a title here and it'll have your email depicted as well now we have different boards and all the boards that you've previously created will be here first thing we want to do is click on new board and we can name our board And the nice thing is you can also add collaborators via email here. If you forget to do that, you can add them at different spots, however. Then we click Create Board. It'll say the board has been added and create your shiny new project. I'm going to click on the plus sign. Oh, there's a lot of different categories we can do, but I use the website and then I like the desktop, tablet, and mobile. You can also enter members here if you haven't done so yet and click create digital project now we're at the pages part and i can add different pages from my new website let's add the typical pages that we would usually add to a standard website so i click create new page and then i'm going to add about us i'm going to add contact and then i'm going to add pricing and click add pages then we have all of our pages here this is our map we can move them around as we'd so choose, we can even put one on top of the other. But right now, let's focus on the canvas part. So I'm going to go ahead and click view. And as you can see, I have three different canvases I can work with, the desktop, tablet, and the mobile. And on the left-hand side here, I have some content that I can use. So just a quick demo of how quickly you can actually build an amazing template is you just come over to the header, the left-hand side here. You can click and boom, we have something already here. And then to get out of this, we just click here in the white space on the left hand side and I can add a banner here. The nice thing about the banner is I can actually add my own images, which I can click my images here. Now I can either browse or add images or get them from my computer. So I will do that now. And then I have my image here so I can click I'm done and I can use that for further use. A couple things about the links and the banners that you may enjoy is this has a lot of dynamic use to it. There's a lightning bolt here. I can go ahead and add different banners. So as you can see, as I hit the lightning bolt, it changes the banner heading and I can also add more if I'd like, which is just amazing. So we can go ahead and change the banner carousel image. To do that, we want to go to images, add images. And as you can see, my updated logo is here. Also a nice thing we can do with all the text here is we can change it just by clicking on it. Then we can make it bigger or smaller as we'd like. We can change the alignment of it. We can move it around. We can do anything we want here. We can bold it. So if I click on change the text, I can go ahead and bold it and then there's other things that I can do like quick linking. I can even do formatting like underline. I can do strike through. And if I don't want it, I can either delete it or I can click the two arrows here and duplicate it. With the links, this is really exciting because this is easy to use and it's fun. So let me show you what you can do with the links. There's quick linking over here. I can link it to a page or I can link it to an external page with more options. I have the ability to type in an external URL here, such as Google, and then I can add that to either my logo here, or I can add that to one of these pages here. And these links mode really helps to see what I'm doing. So there's that. And then if I click off of that and I click back onto the elements, I can see that there's different links here. The lightning bolt allows me to take a look and see if I'd like to add any additional text to there, which I can. And then if you're building out your website, say I want this to be the home, I can type in home here and I can go ahead, do quick linking and do the home page. And I can do all that for the links. And then we have the content here. 
and I can go ahead and build out, keep building out my site as I was doing before. Also, as I'm building out my site, I can click on the radio button here, and then I can just go out and zoom out a little bit. So I make sure that I can see everything that I'm doing. And if I start to run out of space, I can click this tab, drag down here, and then keep building this out until it's completely built out and I'm really happy with what I have. And just to mention a couple of other features that you may enjoy and that you may like is the conversation and the notes mode. So say if I want to leave someone some conversations, some notes, what I can do is click on the canvas here, click to leave a new conversation and do that right here. And then I'll say leave a reply. I can use at to mention hello XYZ can you fix this you can even put emojis if i'd so choose and then i can go ahead and post that so it's just that simple to go ahead and post a conversation you can also reply to that as well and you can do the same thing for notes so say you want to leave a note i can click here to leave a note whoa what a great Tool. I love this. You can go ahead, post that. Boom. And then you can either come back, you can edit it, you can also convert it to a comment or go ahead and delete it. So that's an extremely useful feature. Also, if you have not added any project members yet and you'd like to do so, you have this feature available here. You just click, it'll show your name, your title title you gave yourself that you're a creator and then you can also go ahead and add members to your project and click I'm done these are two amazing features that I really enjoy so that looks good for the desktop side of things if we take a look at the mobile it's a similar concept to everything I've shown before I can do the logos here and then I can choose just like the other ones so I want to have these links and I can toggle on logged out and logged in and I can also keep building it up with the banner I've showed the banner before and that's the same concept here I can change the image if I so choose from my images I just go ahead and select a logo and then I click I'm done and then I can pull different things from the content and then once I'm done I can either expand or I can contract this and I have a fully built out template for the desktop and the mobile and the last thing to do is go ahead and play this. So I'll take a second and now we're inside the interactive demo where I can click around as you can see with the banner I can see my home is here and if I want to take a look at the different pages like about us pricing and contact I can. If I want to take a look at the different things like tablet, mobile and desktop I can and I can switch to mobile here and see that all my links are down here and that everything is good to go. Last but not least I can also click the share link here and after I've clicked that share link it is on my clipboard and ready to share and I've done this in just a few minutes so I hope you see the power of clarity in this quick demo and what it can do if you're designing websites or you're trying to map out something in your head but it's just not working out for you so hopefully this was helpful and thank you for watching